This could be the most fun weekend of the year. It's Halloween weekend and there's tons going on, like progress at the Knights' new stadium uptown. And do you want to be a part of a Charlotte holiday tradition? But first, that ride that malfunctioned at the State Fair, police say it may not have been an accident. A worker at the State Fair accused of assault with a deadly weapon for tampering with a ride could face even more charges. 46-year-old Timothy Tuttero made his first appearance in court this week. Investigators say he intentionally tampered with the Vortex ride before it started unexpectedly, seriously injuring five people. Three of the victims remained in the hospital as of Wednesday this week. The on again, off again, on again Charlotte Thanksgiving Day Parade is on again and less than a month away. It's a long time uptown Charlotte tradition and here's your chance to become a part of it. Center City partners who are putting the parade together this year are looking for volunteers for a bunch of parade day duties from helping organize the event to holding on to the big character balloons. We're looking for uh, for a lot of volunteers to make this parade uh, a huge success for, for this, the new, kind of the new edition of, uh, of the Thanksgiving Day Parade. And, uh, you know, to do a good parade, to do a good event of this size, uh, community-wise, uh, you need a lot of people. Interested in being a part of the tradition? Email Robert at that address right there. The Charlotte Knights' new home is coming along. The lights have been on at night, and there are seats, and a diamond taking shape in Uptown. And now the Knights have a new look, complete with new logo and new threads. But fear not, the Knights' longtime mascot Homer will remain with the team. We know it's only November, but if you just can't wait for ski season, this story is for you. Sugar Mountain Resort in Avery County just announced it's going to open a new slope. The new Blue Diamond Slope is expected to be 2,000 feet long and will drop off the dog leg of the current North Ridge and Switchback Slopes at the top of the mountain. Lights for night skiing will also be installed. By the way, Yelp Charlotte has a new community manager and it's a Charlotte Insider alum. Former co-producer Nikki Wolf stopped by to talk about her new role with Yelp. I am so excited to be the Yelp Charlotte community manager. I plan events, I throw parties, I work with great businesses, I work with organizations. Every week I put out the weekly Yelp, highlights the best of Charlotte. In case you missed it, consider us among the newest fans of Sherwood High School in Sherwood, Oregon. Just for their trick two-point conversion play, watch this. Come for the holder doing the monkey crawl, stay for the bewildered guys on defense, and the sweet jump pass by the kicker. We could watch this a thousand times. Actually, we probably have. Goblins and ghouls galore, here's our picks for the weekend. Labels hosting the Carnival Masquerade Ball on Halloween night, complete with a fashion show and a vampire's den, but you won't get in without a mask. If The Walking Dead is more your style, go to the CLT zombie crawl. Zombies will take over Plaza Midwood and Elizabeth. Think you've got the best costume in town? The Glitterati Ball is throwing its kryptonite Halloween bash and costume contest. The winner gets five grand. That's at Neighborhood Theater Friday night. And don't forget about the Haunted Mill and Scarowinds. Both are open through the weekend. Get your spooks in while you can. If you're Halloweened out by Friday night, head to the Visualite to see Leftover Salmon and the John Stickley Trio. On Saturday, check out Drake at Time Warner Cable Arena. Miguel and Future are opening for him. Taking Back Sunday plays the Fillmore on Sunday, and Carlos Mencia will be at the Comedy Zone all weekend long. This weekend's weather, about what you might expect for the first weekend in November. A little cool, a little chance of rain, but looking like a great day for the Panthers' big matchup at home against Atlanta. Friendly reminder to set your clocks back on Saturday. You get an extra hour of sleep or partying. That'll do it for us this week. Join us every Thursday on WBTV.com. Follow us on Twitter at CLT Insider. Keep up with us and we'll keep you up with Charlotte. I'm Sammy Jo Francis. Have a spooktastic weekend.